Why do you think white men, for the most part, not all, not all, not all, but most, why do you <laughs> think, why do you think they don't speak up? Why do you think mm -hmm. they are afraid to say, hey, I'm not your problem, I'm not your enemy, I'm right. not all these racists and all that crap, you're responsible for yourself. Why don't white men speak up about those things? I think a lot of it is that they've been emasculated to a degree that is probably un unprecedented in human history. So if you think about uh, white European men, um, they used to have all these values and these virtues that they were fighting for. They were fighting for uh, women that were raising their families and, and those virtuous women right. that were doing all these things for them. They were fighting for their country that they cared deeply about. They were fighting for their God. And what has happened, especially in America, is that those things, um, those value systems, those pillars of, of these men have been destroyed one by one until all that is left is, uh, is a man's hedonism and his, and his drive to pleasure himself at that, at that exact moment. I think that women are the same way. Like we are a, we're not a value driven society yeah. anymore. And so in the absence of those things, um, why bother rocking the boat? I mean, I mean, why would you put yourself out there for your reputation to be destroyed, to be called racist or anything like that, if you just don't care about upholding any of these things anymore? I mean, these people aren't religious. They're largely atheistic. Um, they're, they're drinking and smoking weed all the time. And then the women that they're pursuing are, you know, sluts and they're not the making. <laughs> Yeah, you know what, man? I totally agree with that. I, I think a lot of white men, especially white men, kind of feel emasculated in a lot of ways because, you know, again, we, we, we buy into this whole idea that we're evil and we're wrong and we're part of the patriarchy and everything else. So, um, you know, I've been involved with uh, with different groups with, with men, um, you know, and, and, yeah, I think a lot of them, man, they... Um, they they buy into this you know this BS that they're that they're wrong they're bad, and um, the thing is man, we need men right now more than ever. We need actual you know men with virtues with real values. I'm not talking about this fake virtue signaling that oh they, we gotta be nice to whoever. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about the men that led in the Trojan horse. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about men from 30, 40, 50 years ago. You know, real men. You know, and and what do I mean by that? It, and men from all colors and all backgrounds, man, that, that had a certain set of values that they adhered to. You know, they went at, they they kept they kept this value system going. And you know, hard work and and you know, being faithful and and you know, taking care of their their house, the kids, their families, and doing the best they could with you know what they had, and um, trying to kind of go after more in the right way. And now everything is about you know how sad people look and how cool somebody is, and um, you know. What kind of car they drive, and you know, got their drag queen stuff and the trans stuff, and you know, everything else. When we we have definitely lost our values, we've replaced those men with you know, trans men, <laughs> fake men. You know, you know, I mean, we we've replaced our value system with the bunch of depravity. We really have. We have replaced our faith test with nothing, with absolutely nothing, um, you know, and, it, and it's really a shame. So I don't know. I don't know right now if there's any way back for the uh, for the near future. Um, but, yeah, I, I do agree. I think a lot of men, especially a lot of white men, again, because I think a lot of white men feel, hey, they're wrong. They're part of the patriarchy. So I think a lot of white men are, they're, they're kind of sitting out now. They're kind of sitting this one out. They're in the back. 
and, and they're kind of keeping their heads down and whatever. And, you know, and it's like, hey, look, man, guys, no matter what background you are, no matter what color you are, we need you. You got to stand up no matter what color you are. You get, if, you're value, if you have values, I mean, a real old school kind of values, we need you. Stand up. Uh, let's make peace. Let's let's find ways to. They just want to um, kind of be under this leftist uh, cloak of imperviousness, where they aren't being attacked by people, and they can kind of just do their day to day thing. What a slut! You know. <laughs> <laughs> what a slut! You you were over in Europe, traveling over in Europe, and I've mm -hmm. seen several reports of where the the Muslim, the Allah U Abba people coming into that country as well. And they are attacking white women, raping them, mm -hmm. killing them. And and the white men over there, are they afraid to protect the women over there as they are over here? I'm sure. Yeah, I'm I'm sure. Um and I used to be so much more unsympathetic towards the Muslim position. <laughs> I can't even believe that I've, I've become sympathetic towards Muslims in the last few years because I was just full of vitriolic rage and hatred when I started my YouTube channel. But when I, I see the value systems of Muslim countries, I, I, I mean, I know that they're like real stone age, but they are right on some of these things. <laughs> some of these things. Um, and I'm really struggling right now with um, how to reconcile the way I used to feel about Muslims and Muslim men and, and how it's becoming more appealing to me because the Western world is completely out of control. And so that element of even staunch patriarchy, I'm starting to think like, maybe they're on to something. <laughs> <laughs> like what for an example? Um, you know, I don't, I don't want to be veiled or or anything like that but uh they do to some degree protect a woman's chastity and i think in our society that is a value that's that's become totally lost they clearly take it too far but there has to be some happy medium between veiling women and um, yeah. not letting them go outside the house or do anything like that and then this total free-for-all there has to be a balance there does and i think right now we need men. We need men back. I mean, again, we need real men back. Real men. We need men to stand up. We need men to lead. And again, man, I'm not. I'm not saying anything bad about women or or whatnot. I mean, not at all. But we need men to stand up. We need men to be men again. You know, take the lead. Do what they had to do. Go. You know, become become build things. Become better. Become stronger, you know, but be the way that we used to be back, you know, 40 years, 40, 50 years ago. You know, go out there and be the best we can be. Take care of our homes, take care of our families, and um, take care of, of, of whatever whatever is dear to us. And right now, ma'am, this, especially this new generation, you know they don't value things that um, that we that we value and and, and the things that our our parents valued. They don't value that kind of stuff, and that's where society is going to break totally down because those people, man, they don't value they don't value things. You know, again, man, nowadays in in today's society, they value things like you know this again this transgender stuff, the drag queen stuff using pronouns, you know, playing video games, you know, uh, having this fake outrage over being oppressed for whatever reason. You know, again, there is no emphasis on finding your purpose, finding your, your livelihood, doing the best you can. You know, again, I'm not saying everything was perfect in the past. It definitely wasn't. But people had purpose and they went after what they had to go after and they took care of what they had to take care of and now we don't do that you know I, and i think they're kind of pushing i think the powers that be are pushing us away from doing that you know because they understand that if we don't have the connections 
that we used to have, the connections for other people and the you know, sense of purpose and everything else, we become weak. And when we become weak, we're easily taken over. We're easily, you know, bossed around and told what to do and led in whatever direction we need to be led in. So, um, but yeah, I definitely agree. Have here in the West. So I'm not saying we should adopt Muslim values, but like, can we nudge ourselves like a, a little bit in yeah. that direction? Like just a little bit? Well, it know. used to be that way in this country when, in the good old days where women had a sense of self-control and men were the head of the women and they just right. wouldn't go out being sluts. <laughs> <laughs> it was that way at one time, but that has yeah. changed now because of the so-called women's movement, women's right. lib and all that crap. And they convinced women that they need to be educated and they can be just like a man. So it's gone totally out of control, but the women are suffering as oh, yeah. a result of not being protected in that way. Mm -hmm. Right. And then uh, we're going to move back to that mentality. And we're seeing it now where women are demanding the protection of men, but we have no right to do that because we're not making the same offerings to men that we used to make. Yeah. Um, and you can only demand the protection of men when you're offering them your chastity, when you're offering them your abilities as a mother, when you're offering uh, the things that, that men cannot do to a relationship. So, you know, with long-term fidelity and things like that and, and submission, which is a huge problem for me. And I think that younger women um, should try to learn how to be more dutiful. It's not really been easy for me. Yeah, well, you're right about that. <laughs> We're being replaced. We are being replaced by this whole new movement, this whole new ideology, you know, these trans men and trans women and whatever you know real men real women yes real are being replaced we're being replaced man and you know we have to we have to stop finding amongst ourselves come back together go into our roles you know again man i'm not saying everything needs to go back to where it was 50 years ago i'm not saying that but there needs to be more of a sense of family, of community. There has to be. We have to come back together. And if we don't, we are going to be taken over because that is what is happening with this whole new movement with this trans stuff and these drag queens and everything being sexualized and you know pushed upon, shoved down our throats and everything else. And the kids, man, the kids that come from these broken families, um, you know, they're, they're, unfortunately, man, they're weak. You know what? They're, they're looking for a sense of belonging, a sense of purpose. So they wind up getting involved with these so-called fake movements. You know, this trans stuff and this whatever. Not real. It's not real. But they get involved with it. And, um, again, we're, we're losing we're losing, man. They're becoming indoctrinated by this. And again, so the more that we break up, the more the men and women, you know, they break up, they don't have a sense of purpose, they don't have a sense of what they need to do. There is some family, families are broken up. The easier we are to be replaced and taken advantage of. And again, man, it's not about white or black or whatever. It's not about whatever race, whatever ethnicity, it doesn't matter. It's about values. What kind of values do we have? And again, we need, we get, we got to go back at least to some degree, uh, old school values. Again, we, we, we're going to have to, we're going to have to because, and, and again, man, I'm talking to the men and women out there that, yeah, no, I'm not saying everything in the past was the, was the best. I'm not saying that at all, but what I'm saying is there was a sense of uh, value and there was a sense of family and community and we, we got to bring that back before it's all replaced and before we, we it's totally gone. Before the old way is totally gone. We got to bring it back. We got to stand up before we are replaced. And I'm talking about men, I'm talking about women, I'm talking about white, I'm talking about black. It doesn't matter. 
We got to stand up, man. I'm talking about real people with values. But hey, guys, if you would, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thanks. <laughs>